Hey guys, what's going on? Woo. Um, we just uh, we're leaving my beach house to go get a hot dog, and we thought we'd hit you up with another video before I go on Vermont. I look like a little rascal with my little grass hair here. Alfalfa. Um, alfalfa. Yeah, but here's here's a stinking Thor right here, Issa. Yeah, we're just walking to get a hot dog right now, and um. So yeah, new things. I got a new I got a new haircut. We're gonna we're gonna give you a top ten. I need one. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a top five. He's gonna give you a top five. And we were in the water just like 15, 20 minutes ago. We ate a little bit, talked about what video you're gonna make, and then we're we're here now. It's top five. I'm doing top five Rainbow Six characters that are so underestimated. Well, you were gonna do the DC people. Oh no, top five. Um superheroes that we need to know more about yeah okay so i'll go ahead and start mine uh one zofia i love zofia and i she's such a great operator just i feel like no one really uses her i haven't seen very much zofia's in a match early since like she came into the game yeah it's pretty crazy uh, i've been using her like crazy now because i just oh, got dude, her the wrong way. wait what you have to film sideways so it's like the whole screen. oh yeah sorry about that if you're still watching, shout out to you. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, shout out to Stinking Thor right here. See you, Thor Films. But yeah, go to his channel to watch when we were in the water. He has a GoPro and we were actually underwater. The video will be up, I think, tomorrow. If not tomorrow, one day. So yeah. Wait, are you uploading this today? Mm, yeah. Okay, if he uploads this today, then my grandpa footage will go up tomorrow. Alright, but anyway, like I was saying, it's... Dude, crazy how well recycle. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, that's illegal, never mind. No dude, it's actually illegal, I'm pretty sure. I mean no dip, but I see I mean seriously, it's just Anyway, oh, so well, yeah, I know no TV. I know that the screen's kinda wet, but it's kinda sprinkling. But anyway, so yeah, we have a while to walk for the walk for the uh do or hot dog, so Keep you information. So, I feel like another operator that's really under is Fuse. Mm -hmm. I really like Fuse, especially with his shield. It's really good, and he's just an all-out great operator. So, especially if you have a trigger finger. If you have a trigger <laughs> finger, you can win rounds, bro. Yeah, you can get aces, win rounds with him. Not to mention, he doesn't have a breaching charge, but he has something better. So that's. I'll let you find out for yourself. <laughs> Dude, so with this shield, um, I almost got an ace with it. Yeah. I ran so, around with this shield and melee people and got a 4K. So number three, um, this one's kind of eh, debatable, but Ash, you know, Ash is so great at He's so great. All right. Well, everybody loves Ash. Okay, fine. I'll take Ash off, but it's kind of me. But anyway. Definitely Blitz, man. Blitz mm -hmm. is such a good shield operator. And annoying. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much montage, but skinnier, better, and not as annoying. Mm, skinnier. Dude, Dude this next is... time we should put the golf cart on your dad's truck and drive it around you. <laughs> car. So yeah. Number four, and this is actually a pretty big one, Lion. Lion's EE1 detectors are so helpful in a match. Or his detectors are really, really helpful in matches. Why? Because if people aren't standing still, they'll get detected. Now, for the five, for the best one that's well, underestimated. Can you say something about Lion? Uh -huh. So with Lion, if you're in bomb, you need to right before you're about to defuse. Um, do the EE1D and then defuse and then do the EE1D again and if you and then you're out of EE1D so just keep it for that point and definitely what if they're coming at you you know where they are so don't try to wall bang if you're in kids bedroom it's best because they'll there's only one entry point for the defenders so you can make them come in and spray at them like I did with a rider <laughs> so um, yeah Oh yeah. So yeah, in number five, I do have some honorable mentions, but I don't think I'm gonna tell you because I want to get to his top ten or top five. So yeah, and coming in at last place would have to be, have to be, have to be Mistro. 
Or how do you say his name? Maestro. Maestro. That LMG is actually better than Capito's, and he's just an all-out war guy. I mean, he's, he's so... He's the best LMG in the game. Like, Probably, <laughs> I honestly think he's got the best gun in the game. And, like, no recoil. Well, they they nerfed it, so there's recoil, but there's almost no... The, so, yeah. Episode, like no You've heard my top five? You haven't heard his? I don't know where I was going with this. Now to Issa. Okay. Um... My top five is the top five superheroes that we need to learn more about. With number one, I'm definitely gonna put the Flash. So, me and I was, me and Ryder were talking about this, and Ryder said the Flash because we don't really know anything about the Speed Force. And in the show, yes, you get some snippets, but not everybody knows. In season four, when he came out of that um, portal, what he was talking about. What he was talking about is the stuff that he remembered the most from the past and stuff that he barely remembered and won't remember pretty much ever again. Like, in one sentence, he said every hour and every minute. And if you think back to season three, when he proposed to Iris, he was singing Running Home to You, the Flash's first song. Well, no, because he had Super Friend and stuff in that episode, but when he said, there was this, uh, God, I can't speak. There's this one line that said, and I want you in it every hour, every minute, which is proved. And then there's some other lines, but I forgot them. And But some of it was just plain gibberish. And some of it was the future, like the Flash trial. Um, number two, we have Captain America. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. if you think about it... I mean, the first Avenger the gave main, us a lot, but still. The main stuff that you hear from him is... Oh, he grew up in Brooklyn. Yeah, he took That's his... That's just he, yeah. one thing right there. Where did he grow up in Brooklyn? And you never learned about his childhood friends except for Bucky. Like, we need more no, about No, he that. wasn't even a childhood friend. He met him in, like, World War Two. Oh, yeah. You know, he met him in, like, high school or something like that. So, so the thing is, so... his childhood friends. And you haven't really gotten into detail about how he'd be... How, wait, wait. What was in the super serum? Like, how did he become this skinny little guy to this big buff, like, can hold down a helicopter what, guy? Super soldier stuff? But, um... What I really want to know is his parents. Like, what's what's about his parents? Were they dead when he got into World War II? Were, did he just grow up in an orphanage? We don't know anything about that. Oh, and before he finishes, he is not really counting the comics. I know in the comics there's a lot that is explained, but I mean, I mean, you're you're talking about the normal human here. You're, you're not having someone like the that's live just. Action movies is yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not. Gonna, I mean, you're not going to have someone go read every comic just to know a detail about one guy. So anyway, let's get back to it. At number four, I think. Three. At number three, I have Scarlet Witch. Now this this was probably number one, but I I'm just doing it like in a random order, sort of. Um. So in number three, Scarlet Witch, because all we got in the movies. Like, I know she's in a lot of the comics, but she's only been in, I think, two or three movies. Actually, just two. Yeah. And in the first one, her brother died. So, I mean, that's not a good start. Anyway, um, all we got was that they met. No, they were brother and sister. I think they were orphans. And then um, something blew up in her house, and her mom and dad died. And... um. Then they sudden they had powers from something. I think they were born with them, and that's really all we got. Like, we we never even knew what, how they got their powers in that sort of series. I know in X Men there was already the Quicksilver that we liked. I should say that huh. um, he wasn't the best, but yeah, that's not tying with the same Spanish Quicksilver that was Scarlet, which is Spanish. brother. He's Spanish. All right, dude. Okay. Na name number five. We're here. Number four, you mean? Yes, number four and five. Come on. Okay, number four is going to be... I'd say Quicksilver, actually. Now that I think about it. I mean, he was in a lot of the comics. and. Well, number three is Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Story. Anyway, number four. We're going to end it on number four for me. That number four is going to be... I need to think. Uh, crap. Uh, who? Um, I'd definitely say Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man. Because all we know about him 
Okay, we get it. Is um, he made a suit? Yeah, we're gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go check out his channel. I'll leave it in the description. And yeah.